So let us start by the very beginning talking about logic gates. And the logic gates has been here for a very long time and they have been available by means of integrated circuits. For example, here you have the example of the 7400, a TTL technology chip, a very old one, which consists of, of a quadruple NAND gate of two inputs, you see? Or on the other side, you can see on the you can see a chip which is the CMOS technology 4000 chip. You see CD 40000, and this one has this logic diagram which is equivalent to a, a double a dual NOR gate of three inputs and an additional inverter. So this is the configuration of the integrated circuit. So we will talk not about integrated circuits, you know, because they have been superseded by, you know, field programmable gate arrays and complex programmable logic devices, but we will talk now about the basic concepts related to logic gates. So if we have to talk about basic gates, we have to talk about buffers, uh, nodes or, in non or inverters, then ORs, then ANDs, then NORs and NANDs, and finally SHORES and NOT SHORES. That's the basic set of gates that you have to have in mind when talking about digital circuits. So the very first idea here is imagining that you have a circuit in mind but there is a single gate inside this circuit, something that you can represent very well like this. You have a circuit, okay, and there is a single gate inside. So you have, for example, a buffer, something like this. This is the input X and this is the output Y, all right? A simple gate. So in this situation, you can represent the y as a function of x and you can represent the true table of this device basically like this, x and y and this double line separating inputs and outputs and here what it is very simple because if you have zero at the input, you get a zero at the output basically a photocopy, if you have a one at the input, what you get is a 1 at the output, that way, okay? So, if you have to attach here to the symbol and the two table an equation, you may say that here you can talk about y is going to be a function of the input x and the equation is simply that way, y equal x. In the same way, you can talk now about a knot. So this is going to be called a buffer, okay? Or a non-inverter, as you like. The next one is going to be the knot, right? Or the inverter. And this gate is going to look like this. That's the symbol, x, y. So the same as before, you have a function of x and now the true table of this device becomes simply x, y, 0, 1, 1, 0. Just the opposite logic value, all right? That's the way it works, just the opposite logic value. In a way that now, when representing this, we have to attach here an equation and you say y equal to x naught. That's the way we are going to do that. Even if in books you find something like x bar, like this, this is a naught, or another symbol like this, or it doesn't matter very much. There are many ways to express this naught, this inversion, but we will use all the time that one, right? So every time that you have a, a bubble, you see this bubble, it is the representation of a knot or inverter. Okay. Then what? 
then you can find another type of gate like this one here with this very specific symbol so you may say a b and c now right so c is going to be a function of a and b so this is what is called the or a logic or okay and a logic or is represented by this two table this is a b and C, so now you have four possibilities here 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And OR is for generating that kind of true table 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 1, 1. That's the structure of the OR gate. So that the equation C as a function of the inputs A and B becomes that one. You may say that this is A or B. Okay? You can do that very well. A or B. This plus is not an arithmetic plus, but an or. Well, that's the way we you use the same symbol, but we will we won't get any kind of confusion because this is just a logic circuit. Later on, we will talk about arithmetic circuits, and the arithmetic circuits will be very well clarified later, not now. So this plus is uh, OR. And the other logic gate which is fundamental is the AND, the logic AND. So here you are again A and B, and the output C is another function of A and B with the corresponding table that you can represent here, A, B, and C the same four possible combinations and finally the AND the AND you know the AND logic gate becomes zero 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 okay zero and one is zero one and zero is zero and now one and one is one that's the other gate which is here to remain as the basic gate so here you are a function now of a and b and that becomes uh, written in this way a and and b and that, that's the symbol of the or okay if you have to write that that's the symbol of the or and that's the symbol of a and this dot you see the dot means here a and a logic AND and the plus a logic OR. That's the way we will do that all the time. So you see you have a buffer, a NOT, a OR and an AND and then you can generate several other gates from those four initial ones and that is nothing but a combination if you like. For example uh, you can talk now you should divide now the whiteboard. You can continue with these notes like this. Because now if you have a OR, you can very well have a, a NOR. No OR, right? And you may say ABC, and this is the output D, which is a function of ABC. And so you have the corresponding table now, which is A, B, C, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, uh, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. You see, this is all the possible situations that you've got here. And then the output D becomes, because it's a NOR, okay, this is nothing but a... Uh, you can redraw that symbol like this. This is an OR and a NOT. Okay. You can do that very well here. Okay. So you have 0, OR 0, OR 0 is a 0, but because it's a NOT here, it's a 1. And then the other way all the time. You see 0, OR 0, OR 1 had to be, has to be a 1, but because you are not in this, it's a zero, so it's something like this all the time, okay? To the end, to the last value. So this is a NOR, and so the final equation, D, is a function of A 
B, C. So you can write very well the same A, you see. You can use the same A or B or C, but now that way. A final parenthesis with a not. That's the function of a nor. And in the same way now you can handle the NANT, okay? The NANT is going to look very well in a very similar way. You can have two or four inputs or it doesn't matter. If you can see the four inputs, you have a gate like this with the symbol of an AND and the bubble. So here you can have, for example, X, Y, Z, W as inputs of the circuit, you see? The inputs of the circuit, X, Y, Z, W, and the output T. So T is a function of X, Y, Z, and W. And now you can represent very well the two table of this. Okay, so this is X, Y, Z, and W, and the function T. So you can now handle the same... Uh, full representation of all the possibilities and because you have four inputs you can go uh, organizing the inputs like this 0000 0000 1 0 0 and down to 1 1 1 0 and finally 1 1 1 1 okay and this is a NAND and because it's a NOT AND you can handle the table like this, 0, 0, 0, 0, this is an AND, which is going to give you value 0, right? But because it's a NOT in the end, it's the value that is 1. You have 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, it's an AND, which is 0, but NOT, it's a 1. And the same all the time, so the function is full of AND, 1's, you see, here the same, what about this? 14th or 15th value is the same thing, 1, 1, 1, 0, and is 0, but because you have a final not, is yet another time 1, but the last one, 1, and, 1, and, 1, and, 1, had to be, has to be a 1, right, but because you are not here, in the end, you, it is a 0, so this is the function, a single 0. That is the NAND. So now if you talk about the function T, the function of X, Y, Z, and W, this becomes A and B and C and D. You can, you can use this, you see. But now a final NOT. So you see, if you have a AND, you, can, you have this equation A and B. So you can use the same equation here if you like A, B, C, D, A and B and C and D, and but final not. You can generate a couple more of gates here very well, you see. One of them is uh, sure, so you can have here A, B and this is going to be a sure. All right, and here you can generate the shore, but with a final not. So this is a shore gate, and this is a no shore gate, not shore, right? So this is A, B, and C, if you like, A, B, and C. So now the function of this A, B, gate C equal to a function of A and B, this becomes like this, A and B not, or you see, A not B. It is very simple to remember, and this is related to the true table, right? And the true table of this function is, again, another time, the four possibilities. Right, let's, let's, let's do that in order. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So when you've got 0, 0 in this function, you have a 0. 
when you have 0, 1 or 1, 0, because those are different values in A and B, whatever the, the, the way, you have a 1. So it's a, a way this gate detects when A and B are different, right? So when A and B are equal, you've got a 0. That's uh, sure. All right, so in the same way now, or in a very similar way, you have the sure not. Right, which is the opposite of this function. You can, you can generate, if you like, the C naught here, which is going to be 1, 1, 0, 0. You see a kind of a detection of the values that are the same, 0, 0, or 1, 1. So you can do that now here in this equation. So C is going to be a function of, again, A and B, and this function is going to be basically, if you like, the same as before, A, B naught, or a not b not. That's the function and the corresponding table. If I have to draw it again, finally, I will use the same mechanism a and b, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So it is a 1, 0, 0, 1. So that, that is called a sure, and this is the not sure, a kind of an identity function because it's detecting when the values a and b, or many other inputs, if they are all the same, a zero, right? Or one. When they are equal, zero, zero, or one, one, you have a one. That's a not sure logic function. So this is basically all of them with the symbol and the corresponding true table. And basically what you see here is the more immediate function, which you see a uh, or, A or B, and this is represented like this, or or and B and C and D, and then a final not. That's the way. Now we will investigate this because using Boole's algebra we can change the logic notations. We can have here many, many more equations because basically it's all about understanding how to translate the true table and convert the true table into a corresponding equation, okay? And that can be solved, as you will see, using zeros and using ones, all right? And when you do that transformation of the true table into an equation by taking the ones, you get an equation, and when you take the zeros, you, t you get another equation, and that's the way it works all the time, right?